one B8 factor and game girl here. We originally wanted to record this match when we played it live. It didn't quite work out. There was no sound. We're basically doing a hardware check. We're going to post a few videos on YouTube. Want to check out and see how our hardware is working. Of course, we don't have a really nice mic, so it's not going to be uh, glorious sound, but we'll deal with what we have. Yes, playing on Party of Ten, which is part of Ten, misspelling on my part, developed this world for free for all ten players. Each each starting position has equal amount of maxes. Give you an example of my starting position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody else should have the same exact amount. There's equal maxes in between each base to give everybody a equal start. There's no water spawns, though there are several water spots to create a little bit of terrain to go around or separation between some of the bases a little bit closer. And you have a few mountain ranges in between a few of the bases, a crack in between some of the bases. You can run to the water, as you can see Game Girl doing right now. Her, her, uh, her favorite thing to do, find an ocean and hide in it. I was going to say, you could just move your entire base into the water. Yes, you can. Well, you have to named a few of these uh, these water spots to make it easier to get around. This one right here, little doggy tail, doggy ears. What Scotty we, dog. This is the Scotty dog. Right here we have the bunny rabbit. You can see the little bunny ears. Over here we have the island, obviously. South of the island, north of the island. I have no idea what that is. There's a dolphin around here somewhere. Ah, here it is, the dolphin. Dolphin fin, little fin. Kind of interesting. Anyway, so this particular game, we have two people that I want to keep an eye on. One of them is Alpha. He's very good, and I play with him quite a bit. He's kind of a rival of mine, and we happen to spawn right next to each other. How about that? Now, I noticed that ahead of time. Let me see it from my perspective. I had already scouted him out. Yep, you can see that I see one of his uh, mechs is there. So I know he's there. So what I was going to try to do was take the water and prevent him from having these and maybe have some ships pound on him a little bit. There's nothing more annoying than that. Uh, that was my goal, at least. I'm also doing an early tech got my mexes. You see I don't have a lot of factors yet. Really early, early, early tech. I want to try to get an econ boost on the rest of the players to see what I can do. And the other player is Tommy Bananas. Tommy Bananas is very good. Played several matches with him today so far. And um, yeah, he's just really good. I won one that he should have won. He was doing very, very well. Had a massive couple hundred army tier two uh, about to walk into my base and uh, my back against the wall. I decided to build some. What are those units called? The Ghillies? Pelicans? Pelicans. I built some pelicans, threw some Ghillies in them, flew them over to his base, and sniped his commander right in the nick of time. And uh, the next game we played, well, he returned the favor and I lost. So uh, this is kind of a tiebreaker game for he and I. Everybody else is just flack right now. We'll see what happens. With this map, a lot of people run to the water. Yes. Now I'm trying to get the, the water here, and I've got to worry about brown. I've got to worry about uh, these bombers. Looks like I'm going to take care of those just fine. And I'm thinking Alpha's probably wondering what he's going to do about that. Let's see what happens. See, economy-wise, we're doing pretty good. We're up there, 139. Alpha's keeping par. Everybody else is about the same. So it looks like he might have teched also. Let's take a look. Eating some trees up. Yes. I don't see a tier 2 factory yet. Mine's about 25% done. Also eating trees. Let's see what else is going on. We have blue over here. Looks like he might have been beaten one time before by our early orbital rush. That's very annoying. 
but it's kind of expensive to, to get this uh, at this point. Brown. Mm, Brown's not doing so well. He looks a little new. I wonder what happened here. Looks like somebody came in and raided him. Go take a look at that real quick. Yep. Blue raided him. Okay. Purple and orange are fighting. Purple is Tommy. He is super aggressive. Will be on you in the first couple of minutes and will stay on you until you're dead or he has exhausted his resources and units. I really don't want him to get an early base because then he will just boom and take the rest of us out. So it doesn't look like he's going to get anything right now. Green, not doing a whole lot. And yellow and blue are fighting. And looks like Game Girl is taking the oceans. Surprise, surprise. So let's put it on my perspective again. Let's we'll see what's going on here. I think we can... Aha. Uh -huh. Fighting for the Scotty Dog. feel pretty confident that I have this lake. I do have to worry about the Brown's presence in the ear portion of the Scotty Dog. If he gets the Navy up there also, I'll be making really expensive units. Oh, look at this. Alpha coming in on one side, putting out some of my air units, and Brown coming in the other side and taking a max. Oh. Nothing I can't handle right now, though. Just got to kill these bombers. And I have Tier 2 now. That's going to work out to be very good for me here soon. Yes, as I was saying, I have got to get rid of this naval factory, otherwise I'll be making expensive units to defend attacks on the Scotty Dog, and those expensive units won't really be able to do anything else in the rest of the game. So I'd like to go ahead and get rid of that and secure this uh, lake. It looks like Alpha is making torpedo launchers. That is going to hurt. Yes, that is going to hurt. I've got one also, but I don't, I don't know. Alpha, like I said, is very good. He's doing a very good job of intercepting what I was going to do. I thought I had this. Maybe if my ships were down here, I could have prevented him from doing it, but I'm probably going to lose that. Meanwhile, teching up. Probably, if I remember correctly, in this particular one, yes. I'm going to go ahead and scare him a little bit, force him to, uh, to think about me. Now that I have Tier 2 up, I'm going to go ahead and run in and scare him a little bit with the army and then pull back. also kind of want to see what he has, because right now, I don't actually know. There's no, I know intel on it. Matter of fact, I don't have intel on anything since my power is down. That should be taken care of real soon. There's always that scary time as soon as you get Tech 2. You don't have enough power to, uh, to do, your, do your radars, and if you take your army away, you could end up in a bad situation, so I kind of hold off until I can see what's going on. Sure, let me glance around the map. Let's see, Game Girl is 85, Maddle. Why don't you have that? She's securing this land, looks like, securing this water first before she gets the metal on it. Blue and yellow have been tangling a little bit. Let them look about medium players. What are you pointing at? Looks like, yes, Tommy is about to finish off Staken. That's going to give him a nice econ boost. Right now, where are we at? I'm at, I'm at 116, and he's at 113, and those are the two leading right now. So he's going to get a jump on me, I believe. He's way away from me. I got to deal with Alpha first. Kind of a tough break having a very hard competitor right near you. But that is a free for all. It's a good thing you were there. I'm sure he would have headed my way. Yes, he probably would have. Alpha has learned his lesson about letting you pass. He will take you out very quickly, there's no doubt. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. There's not a whole lot going on. Yep. Tommy took him out. He's gonna gain those extra resources. Okay. 205 and 139, my...
quick tech is starting to pay off. Get a little annoyance here by uh, Alpha. I have a game plan here, though. Uh, what I plan on doing is, since he's taking this out, I'm going to let him go ahead and invest money in that. While I, on the other hand, am going to build more factories, land factories, and produce a stronger army, and then go take them out. That's my plan. So while he's putting money into this, I'll stay away from it, go around these structures, come this way, and hit him with a superior ground force, and take his commander out. Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll happen flawlessly. In the meanwhile, I'd like to go ahead and build a few minefields. This is in case I get rushed early and my army goes this way and he if he comes this way when I go this way I want to have something to fall back on. I also if somebody comes in from either side I would certainly like to be protected on that side or at least give me even if they can see the mines buy some time so that I can come back and defend it. That's the goal. And I'm going to get harassed a little bit more. Right now it looks like he has a stronger army but you're fixing to find out that he does not. Speed it up a little bit more. We'll take a look around. Oop. Let's catch out. What? Who just passed? Brown. So blue took brown out. That's a little excessive right there. That's a little excessive. That's a lot of money could be in units. But he did take brown out. And it looks like eh, Tommy, smart player, is coming to see what was going on. That's a very smart player. He's scouting to see what everybody's doing and also taking his time to tech up and take some more bases. Let's see. Game Girl has moved her commander over to the island map lake. Has the Mexus Forest. Here the resources are 127. I'm at 246 and Tommy 186. So Tommy will be catching up with me very soon. I can I can almost guarantee you. So let's put this plan to motion and see how it works. Now it looks, it looks like it's a pretty fair battle. He may have a little bit of an edge as far as units, but these tier two will go a long way. He's a smart player. He's going to try to bomb those units. I do have ample anti-air, some spinners in there in docks. Go ahead and do the compression. Sorry, make anybody sick from all the zooming in and out. I can't help it. I have very slow APM, but I can move the mouse like a mad dog. I don't remember this. I guess I pull back. You can see this going right here. This is what's going to crush him. I have a pretty strong economy. I'm able to produce these tier 2 vehicle factories and they're going to produce a much stronger army than, than Alpha has and I'll be able to go ahead and uh, finish them off and hopefully not lose too many units. Let's get some orbital going so I can see what I'm doing. I don't think he can see that much yes he's kind of in the dark and what worked to my my advantage the little strategy of letting him build some naval he does have that now he in that if I fail he does have all this extra metal which is good for him but he still had to invest a lot of money in that and I was able to put it in ground force so you can see the difference here whenever I come in matter of fact we'll watch it from his perspective while we're doing that, let's see, Alpha 211, BA Factor 306, Tommy 282. As I said, Tommy is catching up with me. I haven't actually seen this one all the way through yet, outside of the first time I'm playing it. There's those shellers doing their job. I'll pull back and save my Geelys. I see a lot of people move a force like that in. Ah, oh, it's just, just a mistake to lose those Geelys. Let the Geelys and the shellers work for you. Whittle that stuff down without using the stuff. Then, once you come in here, target. You'll watch me target these Geelys. They'll just start disappearing in just a second. And you keep backing up to keep them out of the range yep. of his short range. Little micromanagement, getting rid of Geelys goes a long way. There. You can turn it on now, you'll see. Pretty uh, pretty sizable force compared to his, so Alpha should be gone here any, any second. Target him one, one volley and he'll probably disappear pretty quickly. Yep. Sorry, Alpha. Very sorry. I needed your real estate. I needed your mexes. 
while that's happening, slow it back down and see what else is going on. So I have completely littered the map with with mines. I have no idea if mines lag the game or not, but I tell you what, I do like them. I do not like how they make these circles. It's very annoying. I would certainly rather them make a square. It's easier to really make a prettier base than all this circle and half done and everything like that. Uh-oh. Looks like Tommy has taken out Blue. Let's go back in a second. I'd like to see if Tommy can see me at that point. Sure. Let's see what Tommy sees. He's seeing a little flying, but I don't think his priority is there right now. He's attacking Blue, and he doesn't have sight on anybody else right now. So Blue is in his, in his sight and is his target, and as we know, he does finish them off. And let's see here. Game Girl, 141. Looks like she has secured the water and has a pretty protection here. I am not allowed to attack my wife unless I get permission to do so. I do not have the same uh, same deal. She can attack me anytime she wants, though she typically uh, saves me for, for last. <clears throat> Blue's gone. So yellow and blue, here is what I would categorize a turtle player. He is definitely a turtle player. Doesn't really go out beyond his max. He might have been pushed into being a turtle player by being rushed by yellow, I don't know. Yellow, He's doing okay, but he really needs to get his econ going. A lot of players, especially early on in their RTS ring, they, they build a decent economy and they start producing units. They feel like they are they got a good good flow, and then they just never expand from there. And that's kind of where Yellow's at right now. So we got a turtler, another turtler. It's good for Game Girl to have two turtlers backed up. Also good for uh, Tommy, because they don't expand. You don't have to worry about them. Now, let's see. Tommy's next move. 318, 246. He has surpassed me in economy. Let's Did he secure that base at blue? Let's see. Let me pull it up. Right above me. Yep. There, he's, he found me. Yes, he did find you, and he is securing that base, and he's also secured this base. So, it's time to do something about that. As you can see, while I was moving around the map, um, Earlier, me was moving an army in to take care of that. I did not know where Tommy was yet. Uh, I scouting uh, stopped at figuring out where Alpha was and dealing with that. Now I'm trying to figure out that I see this purple here. I see this purple here. Uh, I went ahead and sent some uh, planes over here <clears throat> to one side to see what's going on, and an army to the other side. I think I thought he might have been in this general direction because there was more there, and this looks like the remnants of somebody that just got conquered. Plus, I knew Brown was there earlier. So that means Tommy was probably up here from my perspective when I was playing. I felt pretty safe down here. I didn't know that he was also there. So I'm trying to get my economy uh, going now to support the war machine that I put into motion earlier. Let's go ahead and see everybody. And speed it up a little bit. It's a little bit slow for me. All right. My game plan. Send docs over here. Kill that. Send this army over here. Kill that, and then figure out next next step. That was my. So point. you're going to you're going to agitate him. That's pretty much it. I certainly want to prevent him from getting econ. He's already taken out two players. I don't want him to uh, to hold on to the econ. I wondered what happened to that base right there because I couldn't get it earlier, but later I got it. Oh, oh I heard the nuke. Telltale nuke. Kind of a bug when you're watching a replay. As soon as you build a nuke. You hear it sounds like one's being launched. <clears throat> so let's see. I think he's going to scout me out now. Yep. Oop. Got a nice mix. I don't wonder what happened to that. Okay. Where's your commander on there? He's building uh He's on a plan. I wanted to build some... A I'm going to need some hummingbirds, and I also wanted to go ahead and secure this... Did Tommy not see you <clears throat> like that? I don't think that he did. Even if he did, he did not have enough bombers to take me out. I have enough spinners nearby and other hummingbirds that he wouldn't have been able to take me out. 
You can see I'm having a little bit of power problems. Of course, we can see everything, but it's shutting on and off. I've got to, I've got to t do something about this. Tommy is. This is our tiebreaker, as I said. I built the nuke because I had a lot of economy at one point, and I was looking for a way to cipher some off, scare a few people, force them to build anti nukes. Never really intended to to use it right away for any particular strategy. Ended up screwing myself a little bit. Hurting, hurting my entire economy. Let's see where we're at right now. 246. Game Girl has surpassed me. 268. Uh, Sistenson. Can't pronounce his name. 147. And Tommy is blowing us away now at 500. Sebastian. Sebastian, is that what it is? I can't tell. Shaston. Shaston. Here comes a very large force. What do we got here? Some slammers, some geelies, and some docks, and some spinners. Very typical, typical group of units. It's actually what I make quite a bit of the time. That's pretty much the same force I make. I decided this time to go vehicle factories. See how that works out. Kind of out of position here. I did see with my satellite. We'll put it on, on me for just a second. I saw this movement over here. I was a little bit concerned about it. <clears throat> I pulled back my army, put it into this uh, teleporter, and I pulled it over on this other side, thinking this is where our uh, big confrontation was going to be. I was okay that I had enough mines there. Let me see if if Tommy can see them. He cannot. He's a smart player, though. He sees I have mines there. <clears throat> he probably didn't notice that. But I can get pretty much guarantee you he did notice that there were mines there because he did back off. And I know he commented on the fact that I had mines everywhere. Yep, lost a few units. Lost a few more. Yep, pulls back. <coughs> Excuse me. Satellite on both sides. I can see what's going on. Check out the rest of the map. Okay. Looks like Game Girl... It's just getting bigger. Cicada. Going on a 17 year cycle. 17 years from now she's going to pull out with a massive who knows what. Yeah, I saw that yellow coming through over there. Yellow and blue are still duking it out. This is the uh, minor league. Over here is the major league. And another turtle player. Got three turtles in this match. I like turtle players. I think they're fun. So let's see. I. This is kind of funny. He turns these off. I, th I thought he was going to try to go through them, so I shut the power off. He stays there for a long time and does not kill it. I thought I was going to be clever and bring an engineer over here and build a couple of uh, turrets so that when he came through, he'd run into hell. I thought I was going to be clever. Now, this looks like a pretty even match, but this is kind of interesting. Vehicles are so much stronger. So much stronger. Than bots. Watch this battle. It's pretty impressive. I was a little surprised. They're more expensive to make, too, though. They are. I was still still surprised at how easily that that took them down. Damn shallows really took care of those Geelys. And the Geelys I did have were able to snipe the other Geelys. And these other uh, levelers have tons of health. Looks like I'm healing a few also. There's another group you would think that would be fairly even matched. Actually, as good as Tommy is, Tommy, 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 you're making a huge mistake by just piling into my army. You should be pulling back. Leading me on. Maybe he knows better than me. Maybe the shellers have outranged him. I really don't know about that, but... Uh, that's where my glory ended right there. I am just destroyed on economy. I should have pulled this force back and tried to secure this uh, these mexes and go ahead and try to retake this lake again, but I didn't. I pushed forward. You were determined. I was determined, and uh, it's kind of lost in the heat of the moment. I want to do as much damage as possible. I thought I might be able to damage the stuff over here. This is pretty neat what he does. 
he uh, brings these guys in the back to kill the back units. He brought some bombers in to do the same thing. He's trying to get the long range so that his turrets can do everything else. And he's already done that. He's already killed the, the units in the back. And now he's got these turrets and these walls. Very, very quick thinking on his part. I think he might even save this little guy. Nope, he doesn't. He saves these two, though. He did a... Oh, look what he built up top again. To match yours. What's that? Are those shellers? Yes, those are shellers. He has now switched over to vehicles, too. But that was important. What was that? Ah, nuke defense. Take that out. Go ahead and get a gate up here. Try to secure this. Try to secure this. Where this lake worked, sometimes can work for your vans. Right now it's really got me split. I think that him being over here, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just need to do a better job of having gates out. Somebody else just died. Let's take a look at that. Oh. Daniel just sniped yellow. Yeah, that was right after blue. Let's see that. Blue started sending that land force toward me. Oh, you well, can't have that, huh? Well, kind of. Blue's dead. I didn't have enough protection in the land over there to prevent that. Like I see a little minor league battle going over here. I guess he got tired attacking blue and decided he's going to go attack green. Kind of a poor choice. Well, for some reason, yellow had commented that they wanted to attack green. You think you have enough uh, vision? Holy cow. All hell, the orbital satellites. Okay, we already know you, you take yellow out. Yep. You should have let yellow finish off green first. You still might do some damage here. Oh, not enough. So let's get back to the big battle here. I'm looking a little pathetic now. <clears throat> it would be this 285, 290 metal I have. What started out as an econ lead has quickly been taken from me, and that's where my priority is now. My priority is to get Mex. Mex is over here, and Mex is over here, and Tommy knows that, so he's going to try to stop me. Nuke is almost ready. Bet you everybody knows where that's going. Oh, that's right. Green was having a nuke. He needed to go also. So you take him out. Let's go ahead and speed it up now. Just watching. Watching me. What do we got here? Tommy 475. Let's see him. Oh, wow. So he's coming in on this side. Can you pause it and hit the visual on me, see how much I can see with those satellites? Yeah. Take you, oh yeah. So, game girl pretty much can see the entire world. The entire world. Air Force at a beckons call to anything she wants. And the commanders eventually. We got a big battle about to commence here. Trying to get my econ going. He went in, took out some more of these and killed. I never could give back. Let's go ahead and start it back up. I might as well just watch it from you since you can see everything. I'd like to comment, even though we're playing near each other like that. We will protect each other, but certainly don't double team anyone like that. Yeah, oftentimes people think we double team, but we really don't. There's times when we have double team people, much like I double team anybody in a free for all that was a lead with any other player. But more times than not, it just hurts me. Sometimes I am beckoned to defend on across the map, away from where I am, and it ends up costing me my base. But, such is the life of a husband. What do we got going on here? Just a little look-see scouting party. 
Game Girl 900, BA Factor 379, Tommy 375. So, did a little damage on his Econ with that nuke. Kind of kept him down to size. The game plan? Hit him with another big army. I really don't have a very good plan. I think he's actually kind of beating me right now. I think he can hold on to his resources easier than I can hold on to mine. But it's not going to matter a whole lot. Because the cicada have woken. 17 year harvest has come. They've climbed out of the little holes and they're out devouring the landscape. The black cloud. The black cloud. Ouch. The wife takes me out. Mm. And since I can already see his commander. It was pretty funny in game. Tommy was like, what just happened? I guess he was thinking he and I were the superpowers. When a few more minutes later, he says, oh shit. I think he saw your cloud coming too. Rest in peace, Tommy. We'll get a chance to break that tie another day. Well, he's got orbital radar. How come he didn't see my satellite over his head? I do not know. I do not know. Maybe he didn't think I was a threat. Such as the cicada, maybe. Yes. It's like you have quite a bit of the world and the space above it. So, currently, dine-in only is Game Girls. Good job. Thank you. Time for another one. Now I'm itching to play. 